Hello everybody! I'm Cheeky Lemon and I'm here to give you guys a tutorial on how to get some live captions built into your stream overlay. Um, I know that there are a lot of options out there for um, platform specific captioning. So like Twitch and YouTube have their own options that your viewers could toggle on and off themselves. But personally, I find those methods to be a little clunky depending on the device that your viewers are using. They might not work that well and they tend to hide weird parts of your stream. So I don't like using that because I don't find them to be as accessible. This style of captioning is my preference because then I have total control on where it lives on my stream and I can pick the style and the color and it becomes um, a, a, an intentional engagement aspect. For me, it's very important that my streams are accessible. So I wanna make sure that if I'm uh, using captions that they actually work for everybody. So um, if you are interested in enabling something that um, could uh, make your streams just look really cool and be super accessible to people who need them, please come along for the journey. If you have any questions during this process, uh, please do leave comments um, or your questions wherever you find this video, probably Twitter or YouTube. And I know some of my mutuals have been asking about how I do this. And if you guys want to reach out to me via some DMs, I would be so, so happy to help you set this up. I love sharing um, my streamer wisdom <laughs> for the, for the um, short time that I've been streaming. So if you guys see anything in my streams that you like, hit me up and I'll try to make tutorials on those things as well. So, um, for these captions, I just need to let you guys know that this is a plugin for OBS Studio. So if you are not using OBS Studio, I can't help you. You need to find a different um, method. But if you're using Streamlabs OBS Studio, I don't know how this would work. I've never used that combination personally, so you might have to play around with some things. I just use OBS. So I'm gonna show you in OBS how to do this. Um, and then if you have any questions beyond that, again, reach out. Let me know and we'll see if we can figure them out together. So when I am setting up my stream, I will show you what that generally looks like. Now, here is where the scuff begins. This is what it looks like when, I, when I'm setting up to start streaming. And um, as you can see, there's gonna be an infinity of me behind. So this will be a little scuffy, but I do want you to be able to see how to um, set up all of the options. So I'm going to cease being big and I'll be small in the corner right here. Here I am so that I can continue to walk you through this process and be here for moral support. And then there's a couple of things I do need to um, point out with my face. So um, this is OBS studio. This is how it's set up for me right now. And you guys are gonna need to download the plugin so that we can get it into OBS Studio. So I'm gonna show you the website you need to go to. It looks like this. Uh, the plugin you're looking for is closed captioning via Google Speech Recognition, okay? Uh, the link for this plugin will be um, connected to wherever you find this video. So again, um, Twitter or YouTube. I will make sure the link is available. Um, and then you can read the features, kind of how this works, but we're really just concerned about going to the download space. You're gonna pick the download option that um, fits your setup. So I'm a Windows user, I would download it for Windows. If you're a Mac user, some of the tutorial may or may not apply to you specifically. Uh, you might have to figure some of those things out by yourself, but uh, you're gonna click the option that works for you and then um, that will go to your downloads folder. I've already downloaded it, so I'm gonna show you where to find it and where we're gonna put it. I'm just opening up a download folder and then this is what it looks like on my computer once I've downloaded it. It's just a uh, zipped file. My zip files look like that little book stack. Uh, so don't be worried if yours doesn't look like this. We just need to um, right click on that and then hit extract here to get the actual um, folder. And then you'll see a folder that is named the same thing as that zip file that we can open. Inside the folder, there's another folder called OBS plugins. Inside that folder, it says 64 bit. And then inside that folder is the actual plugin. To use this plugin, we're gonna need to open the program file on your computer for OBS. So I'll show you how to find that. You're gonna open a new uh, file explorer. You're gonna go to this PC, and then you're gonna hit local disk. And again, this is all for PC users, Wind uh, uh, 
Windows users. Mac users, I don't know what this looks like for you, but it will be similar. We're gonna hit program files. And then in program files, we're gonna look until we find uh, OBS Studio. And you're gonna open up that one. If you decide that you want any plugins in the future, um, they will go here. This is where we are gonna drop any and all plugins that we wanna use, okay? So you can see in this uh, area, there is a folder that's called OBS plugins. If I click on that, there's that 64-bit folder. And then here is where we could drop that plugin. And you can see if I scroll, uh, I already have it in this folder. So this uh, plugin is called OBS Google Caption Plugin, and here it is in my OBS Studio, okay? Um, pro tips for you guys, especially if you're planning on getting more plugins uh, later, notice that the folders were named the same, okay? That's not just that you know where to put it. Um, I would recommend that you actually just grab this whole OBS plugins folder and you drag that into your um, studio file. The reason for that is because some of the plugins you could download in the future are rather complex. And what will happen is um, when you have folders that are named the same, they automatically merge when they're dragged into the same place. And if you do it that way, it'll just ensure that those plugin files end up exactly where they need to go. So again, I would recommend that once you extract your uh, zip file and you open that initial file, you just drag your OBS plugins folder into your OBS studio file, okay? Once you've done that, if OBS is open, you will need to close it and reopen it just so that it starts reading that plugin, okay? Um, but then you're set and we can come back to OBS and we can play with settings just in program, okay? To find um, and check to make sure that the plugin is working, you're gonna go to your menus up above and you're gonna hit tools. And if you did everything correctly, you should see an option that says cloud closed captions and we're gonna click that. Mine looks crazy because my captions are already enabled and working. You just need to hit captioning enabled, okay? This little box right here. And then you can hit settings and get rid of this little window. It will pull up this menu. We're on the general settings tab right now. And this is where you're gonna select um, what audio source you want to have captioned. Okay, you can pick anything you like, but um, we're gonna pick it to be your mic. So my mic in my um, OBS is called number one mic aux. Yours was called whatever your mic is called. And you just need to make sure that that source is selected for your caption source. The next option is when you want the captions to appear. I have it selected for a caption source is heard on stream. I'm not really sure what the other one does if I'm being 100% honest. Uh, so you can play around with that, but I keep it on the first one select your primary language, and then there is a profanity filter, but it is unreliable, so I keep it turned off. Once you've done those things and you hit save, what's actually gonna happen is that this plugin also integrates with Twitch. So um, how we talked about how there's some um, captioning options for uh, your viewers to toggle on and off, this actually makes one of those that is uh, that lives in Twitch and your viewers can use that. But again, that's not our main priority. We wanna make this these captions show up on our stream. So I'm not gonna go through all of that stuff and where to find it and et cetera, et cetera. But you're welcome to ask me or comment those questions. Um, the um, settings that we do wanna mess with is um, what do you want to have the captions outputted to? I have it set to streams and local recordings. Um, if you want to disable native output, um, that's an option as well. We don't want the captions to show up on stuff later. Um, but I keep it like this because I want it to be accessible. And then the lines is something that's controlled on the Twitch side. So notice that my captions only have two lines. This one says three. That's a Twitch thing. Um, so these other options are for Twitch. You do want to pay attention to this caption timeout. I have it turned on and I have it set for 15 seconds. That just means that if I stop talking, the captions don't automatically disappear. They'll hang out for a little while so you, um, the viewers can catch up with their reading if they're reading stuff. Okay. Um, so those are the options that we need to have set. And then if we hit save, again, that creates a toggle option for your viewers, but that alone is not gonna put the captions on your stream. Okay, we have other stuff we have to do. So um, next you're gonna wanna go to open captions. And then, um, there's some stuff that's here in mine. I'm gonna get rid of this one for right now. 
Um, I think this place might start blank. So if it does start blank, you're gonna hit add text output. That's why that second one was there. I had added one when I was testing stuff. Uh, but this is what mine looks like. You just need to make sure it's enabled. You're gonna pick the text source. So see how right here it says captions. That is what my text source is named in my source area. So um, this plugin is outputting right now to this text file in my sources. Okay, I'll show you how to make one of those um, right now. So um, I'm gonna hit save right now. That's gonna get this menu to disappear. And I'm gonna show you how to create this text source because you do need to create one or you won't have any options here for that. So we're gonna hit save. And then um, if you're an OBS user, you should kind of know how this works, but you're gonna hit that little plus so that we can create a new source. And then it is a, uh, a text source. You're gonna hit the option that says text GDI plus. I'm gonna leave this called the, the default name. You're gonna name it whatever you like. And then this is where we get to set up what our captions will look like. So we can select the font, um, pick whatever you like, something that's fun, something that's very readable, up to you. We could go with this one, interesting see how that looks compared to the ones I already use. The rest of the options that are currently visible, we're not gonna mess with. Um, although there is some interesting stuff you could play with there. Uh, the next thing you'll wanna check is your color. Uh, I would recommend that you pick things that really stand out on your stream, okay? There, there is a happy middle ground between not being like alarming to the eyes, but also being readable and accessible. Um, so you're gonna pick a color that works for that. Let's just pick yellow for right now. Um, and then if you find that your uh, overlay is just really busy and there's no good color option to really make it pop so it's readable, you could add um, a background, okay? The background will just put a box around your, your captioning text so that it stands out even better. Um, uh, by default, the opacity of that background is at zero so it doesn't show up. I keep mine off because I found some good settings and I find the box to really interfere and be too clunky, uh, but you can adjust that. So if you want the box to show up so that your captions are more readable, just turn up the opacity there. Then you have some other options at the bottom. Um, I highly recommend that you turn on an outline. Part of the reason my captions are so readable is because I do have this very light neon blue outline to them. And um, that super helps, especially if you have a busy uh, overlay. So I would highly recommend to turn on the outline. I keep mine at the um, thickest setting, so 20. And then you can select the color that would work best for that. Let's just make it black for right now. Okay, um, and then once you've done those things, you've selected your um, font, your text color, and again, highly recommend you um, have an outline. You're gonna hit okay. And then that'll just be a text source in your sources area. Uh, it doesn't show up as anything right now. We're gonna, um, once we've uh, linked it with our plugin, then I'll, I'll, I'll show you what that looks like, okay? So um, what you're gonna wanna do is right here, I already have this doc open for my captions, but I'm gonna show you where to find that because that's how we're gonna access that menu again that we just had. So I'm gonna close that. It's like it was never there. And if you wanna find that, you're gonna go back up to that top menu list and you're gonna hit your docs. And then there should be one that's called captions. That'll open somewhere on, uh, in your stream profile and it will show you in real time uh, your captions going, okay? This is really helpful to me <laughs> because when I accidentally don't remember to unmute, uh, the words don't go, no words, okay? So that tells me I'm doing something wrong and then I can fix it. But it also has that little um, cog so that you can get back to this menu. Okay, so um, now that we've created our text source, we can populate it with our captions. Uh, so we're gonna hit add text output just so I can make a new one for this purpose. The text source, we're gonna choose the one we just created. And then you can mess around with the line length and how many lines you want. I highly encourage you to not use four lines. That is big. I keep it to two or one. And then the length is up to you, depending on where you're putting it on your stream, of course. Adding punctuation, I think, is a really, really great idea. So um, if I pause in my talking for a second, once I resume, the captions put some punctuation and they capitalize the next word. I find that to be really, really nice, especially for people who might be uh, lurking and have your stream totally muted, because that way they're not reading a bunch of run-on sentences. They kind of still have an idea of where the thoughts start and stop. 
Okay, so I keep that turned on. And then capitalization, I keep it normal English capitalizing, but you could do anything you want out of those options. Let's try all caps just to see what that looks like. So once you hit save, this is gonna show up on your overlay. So let's see what that looks like right now. Boom, huge, okay. <laughs> Um, if you've moved around your sources before, you're just going to resize this so that you can put it where you want it to live. Um, but even right now, these are actually really readable. These might be some good options. Um, so I'm just resizing this. Again, pro tips, if in this process your captions fly off the screen, because that happened to me earlier, uh, just control Z if you're uh, a PC user. They'll come back. No worries. And then you're just going to move it to wherever you want them to live. Ta-da! Now you have permanently built-in live captioning that you don't need to worry about. And they just work whenever you go live. And it's awesome. And then if you ever need to um, adjust any piece of this, if you want to change this text, you don't think it looks quite right, um, you can go back to your text file, edit any of those options there, uh don't do any editing though and then if you need to change any of the menu settings you'll hit that little cog again and it'll bring back your menu okay so that's great that's how you do it that's the long and the short of it okay i want to take a moment uh i'm going to toggle these captions off uh but before i do that i just want you guys to really compare uh the two captions that are here right now really really think about what will make them super readable and um, stand out for your streams that is totally up to you um, do what works for you but also think about your viewers and do what will work for your viewers as well this is not just something that's going to be pretty for your stream it also needs to help people it needs to be accessible but you do you um okay so some things that i want us to just be aware of um note in this menu there's a note will not caption the source when it's muted or not streamed, but will still caption if the volume is just turned really low or to nothing. Uh, that's awesome. That means that if we're whispering, it'll still keep track of our captions. So that's good, we like that. And then um, if you're muted, the captions will not continue. So I want you to notice uh, my mic over there i'm going to mute myself briefly and then my mouth is going to keep moving because i'm going to keep talking but my captions will not okay so watch this okay so as you can see um the volume bar was moving but my captions were not and every so once in a while, when you pause in your speech, the captions will uh, refresh and um, they'll start from the beginning. That has to do again with um, that caption timeout that we picked. Um, if you're muted for a while, uh, they will time out unless you never want them to time out. And then you can turn this option off. Something else that I want you to be aware of because this scared me the first time, I thought I was doing something wrong, is um, when you are not streaming or recording, I'm currently recording, if you're not doing either of those two things, if you're just opening up OBS to um, start setting up for your stream, these will not be going, okay? They only work when you are live or recording. So if you want to just make sure that they're working, you wanna um, kind of see them pop up before you go live, you can go to that uh, little cog option again, and you can hit show preview. And that brings us back to that box that looked crazy because that's showing the preview in real time. And this is where you would check before you go live that your captions are working. OK, um, uh, if you rename your mic or anything that you have connected in this um, captioning menu, they will not work. OK, so if you start noticing your captions aren't working, just check those things first. Anything else? Uh, I'm not sure. But again, leave any questions or comments and we can troubleshoot those things. But those are the pro tips. That is how you get them set up and how you get them working. Um, I'm going to be big again. So let's get rid of this background. Let's be big. Hi again. I hope that was super informative. Um, if you need any help, again, I am so open for questions. I love sharing the cool things that I find out how to do for my streams. And I want to make those things accessible to you. And then that helps you guys make your streams accessible to your viewers. So um, thank you for staying with me through this tutorial. If there's anything else you have questions about that you want to see follow-up videos for, just let me know. And uh, I hope to see you later.
Bye-bye, guys.